I wanted to smoke the clear because this question right here. Oh, do you have a right to a living wage? Do you have a right to a living wage? My answer is yes. 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 How can you survive? Yes, it is a hundred percent. Yes. Because how can you survive in this day and time? Yes. And Kane's argument, your argument is going to be okay, <laughs> okay. Go ahead. You're for go ahead. for the businesses. You know, you won't be able to employ as many people, and this and that. Yes, everything's increasing, but we need the people to be able to eat, to clothe themselves. They have kids. I'm just saying, the fifteen dollars in different cities is a great start it can be higher other places but just a living wage just a living wage to start who, who's right there. who, who are you saying is responsible for this living wage you saying the government is responsible for this living wage this 15 dollars that you're talking about across the board let's make it happen that's, right that's what they, you, you want to yeah. go ahead and dig in your pockets and may, be able to do this or, or how, how are we going to fund this because you're going to well, shut down some businesses if if we if we are a mom and pop type thing, we got our own little business going on, and now I gotta pay fifteen dollars or you know to every that's the minimum I have to pay. Now you know you got to give seniority to people that've been there and all this and that or whatever, right? So now my budget because the biggest budget for a business is the salaries, man. Right, right, right. So now I got to do what? Either one, go ahead and you know start paying the fifteen dollars. Oh, I'm starting doing some cutbacks. Who am I cutting back? Who am I cutting back? The, the lowest person that just got there. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting rid of them. No, I'm getting rid no, of. Them. No. So now, we, now we gotta we gotta shut people out of jobs now because I can't afford mm -hmm. to make a profit and be able to you know um, yeah make a profit you know with my goods or whatever the services I'm doing plus being able to pay these people, man. Well, unfortunately, let's let's look at this, and I say the bigger picture too. Some people will lose their jobs but then you're going to find a job somewhere else huh? so you that's think paying that's going to yes, be available yes, yes. yes because i'm gonna tell you something right now mm. it's still plenty jobs out here Bro. if you want to work in the united states now it is now because we don't have we don't, we don't have here. a um uh, a salary cap or uh, uh whatever we, we don't have that right now but once you put that in place where it's and you raise it to your, you say 15, 20, whatever it is. Once you raise it there, bro, people are going to be trying to beat each other over the head for a job. It's going to be so much competition just to get the uh, entry level, brother. Entry level. It will happen. Yeah. You don't think people will be fighting for jobs be. because, no, no, I can't get over here. Oh, oh, you, you, you think it'll be just wide open for everybody? I think it'll be wide up. And this is why. Okay. Why? Uh, the, the Hyundai plants, the Amazon plants. Mm -hmm always have opening and i think they're storing at least 15 dollars mm -hmm. they always well, if they are already there i'm talking about some the other businesses i'm talking about the other business so you're you're saying everybody if, if amazon can afford to do it right now that's good for right. them if toyota right. or whatever plant is good to do it right now by all means keep it going but we're talking about other businesses those are billion dollar like, businesses you're talking about. We're talking about yeah, other yes, businesses Kane, locally. Everybody don't have yeah, an Amazon Kane, plant said, in their area or a Toyota right. and, plant. You know what I'm saying? So how can you say well, let's, that? Let's look at it like this. Let's look at it like this. Okay. Some people travel for their job. Okay. To, to get that better salary, even if it is at a plant. OK, now, true enough, with the mom and pop stores, if we started out for fifteen dollars, they would have to cut some of the personnel there. They would. But they would still have some people on rotation. If you're just starting out there, you have to find another job, but it's still going to be jobs across the board. I don't, I don't agree. That's there. I don't think the jobs are going to be there like you think they're going to be there because everybody's going to be changing their, the footprint, man. Everybody got to You got to change that. So if you if you're locally, you got your own business or a McDonald's or something like that, you got to change that, bro. If you can't make it, if you can't make a, a profit with your McDonald's, you're gonna have to get rid of some people, and then Burger King got to do the same thing. 
Right. Like saying, Wendy's got to do. You know what I'm saying? So right. now you, everybody's all the youngsters or everybody who just came on all are trying to look for the same job. And there's still going to be jobs out there available. <laughs> Where? They still going to be. They still going to be. It's many different places. If they if they did this across the board, Kane, I'm telling you, this. it's still going to be. Uh, I think it still will be jobs out there for people who people want are already to work. losing jobs because of automation. This ain't gonna do nothing, but take, people gonna be losing. Right, but it's still jobs still out here. Now you might I'm talking about you if you if do. you put the, we talk you talking about now you're talking about right now. Yes, yes there are jobs. I agree. Right. Yeah. I agree. But I'm talking about once you implement this this little uh um fifteen dollars or sixteen whatever it is, once you implement that, that's gonna change. For the for the entry level jobs, it's going to change. Has to change. Hey, hey. Has to well, change. It, true enough, it could be it could be harder to get a job, but you have to continue to look. Of course, you're going to look. You have to continue to gonna, look. Dude, yes. We're talking about the people that's in the small town. You know what I mean? What what what? They can't if they can't get on at Walmart there or um one of the um local uh like McDonald's or something like that. If they can't get on there, what what can they do? They don't have to move. What huh? people do every day. What they people have to move. do every day. They hope they drive to another town. If to they work. got that transportation, it's it's drive. everywhere. Yes, you find a way. Yeah, I understand. You're not going to give excuses. I, no, I'm not giving excuses. I'm just telling you, it's going to be a fight. That's what I'm trying to yes. tell you. I'm not saying not to go out there and grind and get it. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying to give up. Right. I'm saying it's going to be a cutthroat, and it's going to be who you know. Who can help you out? Can you get me on? It's going to be like that. And then it's going to be race division. It's going to be like, hey, I'm helping, I'm helping mine out. You help yours out and all this and that because it's hard out there nowadays, man. We got to we, we, we stuck at this this rate that we can't, you know, once somebody quit, man, I got I got a friend that can get you right in. Boom. So you'll get at the bottom of the line if you don't know nobody. You know right. what I'm saying? So, yes. and you do this across the board, especially, like I said, and not in these, you're thinking in, in bigger cities, yeah, there's more opportunity, but in smaller cities, it's not. It's not. And then, it's and not then if you're an entrepreneur, if you're an entrepreneur, then now you can't even hire people like you want to now. You can't even do it. If you had your own little business and you, you're trying to, you know, you have your own bakery or something like that, you got to change up. And then if you reduce the people, you may reduce the service. Because you may not be able to get the things out like you used to. Oh, so, uh, oh, oh Kane's Bakery, it takes forever to get stuff now. Well, if it's a good product, people will still continue to support. I will say that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I will say that. Dude, I you got to close that. the doors yeah, you, you can't the keep the lights on. You, you got to close the doors. That. Kane, so are you saying, and that's a good that's a good debate right there as far as, so you're against the living wage. Yeah. It ain't it ain't it ain't up to um a, a company to pay me a certain salary. Now you can go out there and go get it yourself. You know what I mean? Or you negotiate or whatever. If you're in that position to negotiate, but it's not up to the businesses to uh or the government to be involved with the businesses to let them know like hey, y'all got to be y'all better pay them this. Y'all better pay them or you're getting fined or whatever. And they can't afford. Well, they can't afford not to be, you know, be fined by the government. So what? Right. You know? Right. So they're gonna so, pay. So they're gonna pay it. But however, if people are not buying because they ain't got jobs, because they're looking for jobs, because it's a consumer, it's it's all about the consumer business, yeah. man. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. ain't nobody that's buying true. nothing true. if ain't nobody got jobs and everybody looking for a job to buy. But we are constantly buying. People buying when they're broke. That is the truth. I get we, we 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 do get that. I get we do that as a people. I know. I know. We buy when we broke. Mm -hmm. So, for you to travel outside of that small town, if you're in a small town, to work, I worked in the small town Gaston or whatever. Drove up to Boaz to work at the chicken plant mm -hmm. back in the day mm -hmm. when I was in high school. Yeah. Driving those miles. And what if that chicken plant said fifteen dollars now? We got to cut some folks, so it's going to be a waiting list to get in at this chicken plant. What you going to do then? Drive some more. Keep driving. Yes. Drive past the chicken yes. plant and try to find something else. 
and just yes. keep on driving. You know how many people are going to be doing the same exact thing that you're doing? And then that's why we carpooling. Come on. <laughs> We making it. We making the environment better. Let's go. Oh, it works no. hand in hand. <laughs> but 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 being on a serious tip, yeah. jobs could be lost if they went to a livable wage. But then the overall outcome is getting the American people in a better predicament to be able to okay, I can totally feed the family without working three jobs. And never home. Who's raising the kids? Come on. If mom and dad, and if well, you're blessed to have mom and dad, but if they both have two jobs, come on. Well, if if it's if it's gotten to that point, and we know that it has, especially with families yes. and, and everybody's well, shouldn't you think about your decisions before you start, you know, having these families and things of that nature? Can you don't preach that before you have said I, that I, before that is the right way yeah yes it, it, but go ahead but we know honestly a lot of people us coming from you could say broken homes nobody told taught us uh financial planning and things of that nature mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i met my girl and we was high school sweethearts or whatever we got married. We started having kids. Back in the day, the old traditional way, yeah, you meet the girl and everything, and y'all start from the bottom. Now we're here. Mm -hmm. We just build up. Mm -hmm. It's harder to do in this day and time because that one job is not going to sustain. You could barely just keep the lights on. That's what so, we so, so if, if you're saying that, then you're saying um, since since the lights are going up, the inflation is high, gas is right. going up, and everything. The um, the companies need to adjust for that, right? They need to adjust your salary to the way that the the uh, because the gas is high, electricity is well, high. Look, depend, the, is, depending on where you're at, the cost of living allowance so, it goes up with with time. Okay, okay. So if with it, inflation, okay, so we need to. But you're saying we need to not do the incremental every year looking at the um, cost of living, but you're saying giving them money. Like like you at that level should have this amount, period. And then everybody else got to be adjusted accordingly, right? Because no, you, it, they would have to. If the if the lowest paying person is getting paid 10 and the next, next person is getting 15 and then you made it 15, Fifteen, if that, now, see, see, what, see what happens. Yes, yes, the yes, seniority. Yes. So I need to it sound like a lot of money. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of money. It is. It is. That bro. sounds like it is. That's what I'm saying. Like you gotta look at the bottom line when it comes to that. True. They have to. They have to. People, but if you make if you make stipulations on it and make people have to you know abide by these certain rules, then guarantee you're gonna see the outcome of it. There, there's gonna be consequences for it. And it's going to be a lot of people trying to get jobs. So you were saying that would be the detriment of that could really cripple uh, some cities. Yes. Yes. A lot of cities, man. Especially those ones that just, you know, the small town just trying to, you know, make it happen. We don't, we don't need much here. We got it going. You know, everybody know everybody. Right. Not anymore. Everybody, such and such, got to go, you know, 30, 40 minutes down the road to the big city yes. and get a job. Ain't got to keep doing that every day or move to the yeah. big city. But I can't afford the, the housing in the big city. So I just got to go back and forth. Well, Because I can't even work next door. I can't even work where I used to work at. And some, sometimes it's going to have to be some change. Yes, it'll be some change. And I know a lot of uh, the subscribers, the congregation, mm -hmm. They travel. Yeah. They travel yeah. for the jobs. Yeah. And then go back. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people in these larger cities, they don't stay right in the heart of that city. But you do the they stay but you the do the outskirts. numbers though. That's that's doing the numbers. Yeah. You look at how much yeah, you pay yeah, on yeah. gas, how what was you know, how great your car is, and whatever, man. You do the numbers and see if it's worth the drive. If, right. What they right. say if worth if the orange worth the squeeze. It, is it worth it? You know what I mean? That's how you look at it. So, man, guaranteed. Um, 
livable wage. So, so, I, I mean, I disagree with you. So you saying you so you saying you're not for the people. You don't care if they what? can't pay their lights or anything. No, no it ain't it ain't up to me. Now. It ain't up to me. It's up to them. It's up to that individual that can't do that. They have to go out there and grind, get what what they what they uh, uh need to take care of their family, take care of themselves, just for themselves. I, I, I you know, you don't need my money to do that. It, it money is circulating and it's out there and it's for them. So I, I my final thoughts is go out there and go get it. And you know, if the job is not paying you what you what you think you should be pay, getting paid, keep looking. Yeah, you know, you can be on a job looking for your next job, and keep it going. Hey, hey, I see. Yeah, that. yeah. So that's what that's what you got to do. Don't worry about the government and legislation trying to help this person, help that person out. You can you can catapult your own self. Nothing's holding you back, and that's right. <laughs> Hey. I'm still for a livable raise. I know, okay? I know. You go ahead, man. We gotta, I am for a livable raise. That's my final thoughts, right there. Oh, I'm for okay. it. Okay. And we will, as a country, a society, it's going to be some ups and back, ups and downs mm -hmm. with that livable wage. But we got to do right by the people. So Democrats, Republicans, Independents, what are you going to do? That's it. Nothing. That's the uncomfortable truth. Hey, hey man. let's go. <laughs> this guy. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 